So we just witnessed the eclipse right here in St. Catharines and I have a member of the Niagara Royal Astronomy of Canada, Niagara Centre here with me. So can you introduce yourself, sir? I'm Richard West. Okay. And what has been your experience today? Our uh, experience is that there's a, an enormous number of people came out to see the eclipse. Okay. Uh, I would guess six or seven hundred, I'm guessing. Okay. Mm -hmm. And many people have also gone through the telescope I oh, see yes. here in front of me. They've gone through. And also there's another telescope right here. And there are two, three more here. Okay. Or four more. There's one at the end. Okay. Uh, and uh, what exactly happened, if you're going to explain to a layman, what really happened today? What happened today was that the moon, in its orbit, came across in front of the sun for certain people on the face of the earth. So there's certain of us in a, a band that when you look up, the moon's got in the way of the sun. Okay. So it blocks the light off and you get an eclipse. Okay. Further south of here, they got a full eclipse. They got the moon blocked the sun almost completely. Mm -hmm. Here it was about 78%. 75 percent mm -hmm. so it was very nice for people to look through the telescope and see the moon come over and then go away again okay. mm -hmm. and um, when are we likely to see something of this nature again oh I forget the date but it's like mm -hmm. another 50 years here mm -hmm. in this area mm -hmm. and of course it happens in the world many times but okay. you have to be in the right place to get the right geometry everything in the way at the time and then you can see it mm -hmm. okay can you explain your own telescope here well, it's not my telescope <laughs> okay okay this, what exactly are we looking at? This is a small telescope. The light comes in the top and there's a filter on the top so that we don't blind anybody. Okay. So it only lets a little bit of light through. Yep. The light goes down, it bounces off a mirror, comes up, it hits a little mirror here and then it comes out to an eyepiece. Mm. Just like looking at a binocular. Mm -hmm. And then when you look in there, you see what the telescope sees. Okay. And uh, you have to move this telescope mm -hmm. to make it point where you want it to point. Okay. And but that telescope there, the one behind those people, yes. it actually finds it and tracks it. It's got okay. a little computer on it. Okay, before we go, what would be your advice to members of the public on what exactly the significance is of today's event? It, it's a wonderful way of realizing that we live on a little planet that orbits a star, which is only one of billions of stars in our galaxy. And it makes us feel pretty humble, I think. Okay. I think